everybody this is crispy mage here for a tech world tutorial and this is a bit of an introduction to the program um, blender so today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can insert objects into blender and how you can move around in blender and things like that so first I'm going to introdu introduce you guys to the help button which you're going to want to use a lot probably about blender and also don't be afraid to go on the blender website which is uh... blender dot org i believe so first in order to insert an object if you do space if you just press the space key this uh... menu will pop up and you can uh... add objects generally you're just going to go to add and you can add a mesh plane cube circle uv sphere ico sphere s cylinder cone grid a monkey which is a uh, quite interesting you can also add text and things like that so let's say we're adding a monkey here let's do something interesting the monkey will appear right where this uh... red and black dotted line is so if i left click somewhere that dot is going to change and then if i insert a cube there it goes right there now you can either hold down on your center button on your mouse and then move around like that like this or you can uh... press the alt button and then left click and hold down and move around like that this I tend to use more often than uh, actually holding down even though I do have a mouse with a center mouse button I tend to do this more often because it uh, is easier for me so yeah so this is for you guys who are on a laptop right now I know I am and uh, you can't do it like that so that's basically that and now to select different objects you would right, cl right click on each object to select it you can move it around um, just by simply uh if you left click and hold down and move your mouse you see that weird line that's appearing right there and then you can move it like this i wouldn't recommend doing this i don't do this simply because it moves on both the y the x and the z axis so what i do is if i need to move it let's say over to here i'll move it up a little bit this way and then this way and then let's say it needs to move up a little bit and this you'll need the scroll wheel for to move like that in and out just move up and down like that and then deleting objects if you just press the delete button click erase selected objects and it will erase it so that's basically that you can move around objects in blender just like using these arrows and you can also move it freely if you press inside this white circle it'll move it freely as well you don't need to move uh... you don't need to press outside and uh... whoops i think i pressed space by accident you don't need to press outside and drag like that and you notice that rotated it that's if you press r if you hold down on r and do this whoop, it will rotate it and if you press down on S and drag in and out, it'll change the size. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. So again, if you hold down on R, you can rotate it like that. If you hold down on S, you can change the size. And if you just press inside the white circle, you can move it or you can use these red lines. So this has been a tutorial from Crispy Mage for Tech Worlds, thanks for watching and have a nice day.